Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Fenty Skin is here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I have been just itching to talk about this for so long and it is honestly so relieving to talk about it, but I'm honestly terrified, kind of scared to death and prepping to be canceled per usual. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, but I have been pretty, pretty nervous. Let me just provide you with a little bit of backstory. Obviously, if you're here, Fenty Skin needs no introduction. Rihanna needs no introduction. Um, if you don't like Rihanna, please exit to the right. We don't want you here. I love Rihanna. I love her so, 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 so much. It's not even funny. Actually, I was watching a few of her music videos the other day and I saw someone say that she's a part of the Illuminati and I was like, honestly, if she's in the Illuminati, where do I sign up? Because I want to be there with her. She is just iconic, talented, talented brilliant, brilliant, incredible, incredible amazing. amazing. <laughs> I just look up to her in so many ways. Not only was she an incredible musician, but she's managed to become an ultra successful entrepreneur. And being an entrepreneur myself, I find so much inspiration in how many companies she has launched and her attention to detail, inclusivity, marketing. She is just, she's perfect. I could just go on and on. And about a month ago, I was contacted by the Fenty Skin team asking to send me the products. <laughs> Do y'all even know how many laps I ran around my living room? I got some good exercise, bitch. <laughs> I was just over the moon, out of my mind, excited. And I got all the products in the mail in a beautiful PR package. And <sighs> every time I hold these, it's like holding the babe of Bethlehem. I mean, just pause, look at this packaging. Beautiful, especially this one. God, I just, I can't get over it. And I just wanna say thank you so much Fenty Skin for giving me this honor. <laughs> Never in my life would I have imagined I would be selected to try out her new skincare line. Oh my god, oh, it's just like an out-of-body experience. I'm still not over it. Okay, Harm, who continue your excitement. <laughs> and now I will say, as much as I was excited, I was extremely nervous about receiving these products because you guys know I am all about ingredients and ingredients don't lie, bitch. I always say that on my channel. Ingredients are the standard for me and if I don't like an ingredient list, there's just nothing I can do about it. And of course, because it's Rihanna, I have crazy high expectations. I mean, everyone does. I feel like everyone is attaching their crazy high skincare standards to this brand. And that is a lot to handle from Rihanna's side. So I can't even imagine the pressure she feels. I have so many thoughts, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I wanna share all of them with you. If you aren't familiar with my truth about videos, I like to talk about brands, go through the products and the ingredients, and then talk about the brand overall and let you know whether I think it's worth it or not. And just going into this, I wanna say real quick, I know my thoughts really don't matter, but I am feeling a lot of pressure for this review because it's Rihanna, it's Fenty Beauty, it's Fenty Skin. They represent so much of what I absolutely love, but at the same time, I have my own personal skincare standards, things that I'm very picky about. You guys know this if you watch any of my videos. I don't mess around when it comes to my standards on skincare. So as I get into this, I hope you all can realize like my true intent. I'm so grateful for this opportunity for the brand to be sending me products, but I have to stick with my standards no matter what brand it is. You guys are smart. You know this video is reflective of my opinions and my opinions only. I don't feel like there's a need for every creator to be like, this is just my opinion because I'm like, yeah, bitch, I know. But I just want to state that as I get into this video, many people are gonna disagree with me and that is okay. Rihanna's line is gonna kill it. It's gonna be so successful. It's going to explode on the market. What does my little opinion matter? But I know that a lot of you watching do have my same opinions when it comes to skincare. And being that Fenty did send me the products, I think it's important that I give my perspective on the products, the formulas, the ingredients, the price points, and more. If you don't agree with me or don't like my opinion, that is totally okay. That's the beauty of the skincare world. We all have different opinions. It's the way that we can help products and brands become better. And there are plenty of other creators who have made videos on this topic. And I just wanna say real quick, thank you so much to the Fenty team. Over the course of the last six months, I've made an active effort to find more black skincare and beauty creators because we need more representation in the industry. And I noticed that the Fenty team reached out to a lot of small black creators that I have been following for a few months. And it just made me so happy to see these creators getting the recognition that they deserve because they honestly deserve so much support. And I'll be linking a bunch down below so that you can go watch their videos, you can go support them so that we can have more black representation in this community, but I just want to say personally, thank you so much to the Fenty team for considering that instead of, you know, just sending PR to the biggest creators. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm not going to introduce the brand. I'm sure you guys know all about it by now. No introduction necessary. And you know, as usual, I have some controversial opinions. Some, some of you are about, about to be real mad at me, me but, but it must be said. said. But I do want to touch on an individual point that I think really separates Fenty Skin from other skincare brands. Immediately when I received the products and I saw the branding, I can tell that this is a skincare line truly made for people of color, which made my heart so happy to see. If you guys haven't seen my video, I just did talking about skincare inclusivity and the need for more representation of black people and people of color within the industry. 
You can check out my video down below or a video I did years ago talking about racism in the beauty community. This is a topic that's very close to my heart. And it's shocking that still in 2020, brands are still not being inclusive in skincare. It's not even makeup, it's skincare. Of course, we're familiar with the revolutionary success of Fenty Beauty and the way it shifted the entire industry towards inclusivity. And honestly, I'm so happy to see Fenty Skin doing the same. Of course, with these review videos that I do, I always try to look at it from my perspective with my opinions. But for this video specifically, I really try to open my mind and put myself in the shoes of people of color and black people and look at it from that perspective so I can understand the intent, the justification for the formulas, and the overall branding. Because guess what? Not everything is about me. Not everything is about white people. And you guys will see what I mean when I get into the specific products. But I did just want to say that and also thank Fenty Skin for being inclusive as always, but specifically with the skincare content creators that they were reaching out to and partnering with. It just made my heart so happy to see that. All right, let's get into the products. Per usual, I'm going to be rating these from my least favorite and ending with my favorite, starting, uh, it hurts to say this, with the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer SPF 30 Sunscreen. Now let me explain before y'all attack me. <laughs> this product is a moisturizer with chemical UV filters. And one thing that is so unique about it is the packaging. Let me just say real quick, I love the packaging. It is a refillable unit so that you don't have to repurchase the outer packaging and instead just purchase the refillable units afterwards, which thank you so much Fenty Skin for doing this. I have for so long wanted skincare brands to use refillable packaging, but you know, from a manufacturing standpoint, it is so difficult and so expensive and just extremely impractical. And I'm someone who's so passionate about environmental sustainability and reducing packaging waste as much as possible. So to see that Rihanna prioritized environmentally sustainable packaging is just we love you even more. And I think this will definitely pave the way for more brands to start following suit and doing the same. Another thing I love about this product is that she came out with a sunscreen for the first launch. That is amazing. Maybe some of you don't realize, but most brands when they first launch their products do not come out with a sunscreen. And the reason why is because sunscreens need FDA approval before they hit the market, which is a process that can sometimes take years, extremely expensive and just very rare to see. Secondly, like I said before, this is a brand that is intended to be used by people of color and black people. And it is so, positively encouraging to me to see that sunscreen is being prioritized from the beginning. Unfortunately, for some reason, I don't know why, the industry has lied to people of color and black people and said that they don't need sunscreen, which pff, who said that? Who is spitting out those lies? Everyone needs sunscreen. This is a message that I'm constantly promoting on my channel. No matter what skin tone you have, sunscreen is absolutely necessary. Not just to protect from burning and redness, but also to protect from UVA, aging. 90% of premature aging is from sun exposure alone. So it is necessary that everyone is protecting their skin from the sun. And and even watching promotional videos for the brand, I'm so happy to see that Rihanna is promoting that message to her following. And I hope because of this, we can see more people with darker skin tones using sunscreen. Now, as far as ingredients I like, the second ingredient is glycerin, a great hydrating ingredient that works to pull moisture from the air into your skin, but also conditions and softens it. Safflower seed oil is the third ingredient, which is honestly amazing. It's an incredible ingredient for hydrating the skin. It's also a great antioxidant to protect from free radical damage, which is a type of ingredient that's important to have alongside a sunscreen because free radicals are rampant in pollution, sunlight and really damage the skin and cause it to age more quickly. And being that it's the third ingredient is really impressive because that's a very high quality ingredient. And I've honestly seen some brands tout that as their miracle ingredient and charge a few hundred dollars for a product. No bueno. So to see Fenty use it as such a high concentration is really impressive to me. It's also formulated with niacinamide. Woo! My favorite ingredient of all time. When I saw one of the promotional videos and Rihanna talking about how she really wanted to use niacinamide in her formulas, I was like, oh, you have my heart, Riri. I fucking love niacinamide with my whole heart. I constantly talk about it on my channel. It is my obsession. Niacinamide is an amazing ingredient for so many different reasons. It can be used by every skin type. It fades dark spots. It controls oiliness and sebum production within the skin. It soothes redness and sensitivity. It works alongside active ingredients. It's just, ugh, I could go on and on and on. And I was so happy to see that it is formulated in this. It's also formulated with hyaluronic acid, a humectant that draws in moisture from the air into your skin and hydrates it, as well as watermelon extract, a good antioxidant, and glue gluconolactone, which is a PHA that helps to mildly exfoliate the skin without the sensitivity that you see from other exfoliating ingredients like glycolic acid, lactic acid, and others. But for the ingredients I don't like, unfortunately, this is a chemical UV sunscreen. Now, if you aren't familiar with my channel, I've talked about how I don't like USA chemical UV filters for a few different reasons. I live here in Hawaii and I see the impact that sunscreen use has on coral reefs here locally. I've spoken to researchers and scientists who have specifically studied the toxicity of certain UV sunscreen filters on coral reefs. And I'll just say, 
it is a very complicated topic. Not every UV filter is exactly the same. Some are more risky to coral reefs, some are less risky. The specific UV filters this has is avobenzone, homosolate, and octosalate. Now I'm really grateful this sunscreen is not formulated with oxybenzone. That's the one that's most known for its toxicity to coral reefs. Now due to my research and where I live, I have chosen to not use any USA chemical sunscreens because of the risk associated with them. And also because compared to mineral UV filters, chemical ones can be a lot more irritating to the skin. And because I'm always talking about skin sensitivity and making sure that you're using ingredients that are not going to overly sensitize your skin, I choose to avoid them altogether. That is just me. That is just my opinion, just my stance. Whenever I talk about it in the past, people get really upset because they think that I'm trying to say that you are evil if you use chemical sunscreens. How dare you? You're killing the earth. No, I'm not. Calm down. This is just my opinion and because of where I live and what I've seen. And yes, I choose to use non-nano mineral SPF sunscreens due to the skin benefits that they have and their less likelihood to damage coral reefs. But here's the drawback. Mineral sunscreens do have a downside. Usually create a white cast on the skin, which specifically excludes anyone with darker skin tones. And I've talked about this on my channel before. I even made a whole video talking about sunscreens for people with darker skin tones. And I typically don't recommend mineral sunscreens because most of them cannot be used by every single skin tone. A lot of times if you have really, really, really dark skin, you're still gonna see somewhat of a white cast. And as soon as I realized Fenty Skin was coming out with a sunscreen, I knew that it was going to be a chemical sunscreen. The benefit of chemical sunscreens is that they can be used by every single skin tone because a lot of them do not have a white cast. And while I don't like chemical sunscreens, who am I to say that other people with darker skin tones should be excluded from being able to use sunscreens simply because of a white cast? Like that's not cool. And that's why in my sunscreens for darker skin tones video, I recommended a lot of Korean sunscreens that use more modern UV filters that have no white cast whatsoever. However, Rihanna's line has to be sold in the USA, which means if she's gonna come out with a sunscreen that is truly inclusive for everyone, it has to be a chemical sunscreen. So while I don't like those specific ingredients, I understand the reasoning, I understand the intent. This is solely my opinion. And yes, it's a controversial one. I understand why people disagree with me, but based off of my research and knowledge, I choose to avoid all chemical UV filters, primarily because of the skin sensitivity and risk to coral reefs that they present. However, if you are a person of color or a black person, I am in no way judging you for using using a chemical sunscreen. Everyone deserves access to sunscreen. This is just my personal opinion. Oh my God, I have never had to say this is just my opinion so many times in my video, but I know I have to say it over and over and over again because people are gonna be coming for me. I just know it. The other thing I don't like about this product is that it is formulated <laughs> with fragrance. No, oh, it hurts my heart. When I got the product in my mail and I was opening the box, I was just thinking to myself, please no fragrance, please no fragrance, please no fragrance. And I splashed it on my skin, lifted it to my face and I immediately smelled a shit ton of fragrance. <laughs> Fenty skin products are fragranced as a Look. This one, in my opinion, being the most fragranced of them all. Now, in addition to undisclosed fragrance, this is also formulated with citral, limonene, and linalool, all of which are fragrant components. Now, if you really aren't familiar with my channel, I am just not a fan of fragrance. Do I think fragrance is evil? It's bad? It is going to ruin your skin? No. I just feel that it's not necessary to a skincare routine. And whenever I see brands formulating their products with fragrance, I get frustrated because they're specifically excluding an entire customer base that would have had access to their products if they were fragrance free. I don't like fragrance specifically because it can be irritating to the skin. Now, every single ingredient in the world can be irritating to the skin. That's just the nature of skincare. Everyone has skin sensitivities. But my frustration with fragrance lies in the reality that fragrance is not necessary to a formula. It is solely added to create this nice aromatic experience that smells really nice. Fragrance offers no skin benefits, which means that if it is added to a formula, you are only increasing the risk of irritation. Now, the number of fragrance allergy cases are rising every single day, and most dermatologists I have spoken to usually usually recommend products without fragrance, and I share that same opinion. My mindset is, is that if your brand is going to come out with a fragrance product, at least come out with a fragrance-free version as well, so that the entire demographic of people who are sensitive to fragrance have access to it. I cannot tell you the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of people that comment on my video saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much for recommending fragrance-free products because my skin is so sensitive. There's a huge demographic out there, and I think one of the primary reasons that brands like CeraVe, The Ordinary, and other fragrance-free lines have been popping off so much. Oh, sorry, this video has taken fucking light years to make and I'm so nervous that I'm shaking and sweating so I needed to change into something a little bit more breezy. <laughs> 
Did I mention I was nervous? <laughs> I understand the intent of fragrance is to create a nice aromatic experience, this luxury feeling. And I know a lot of people who watch my videos are going to be so sad that they can't use Fenty skincare products because of the fragrance that it's formulated with. Now, in one of the promotional videos, Rihanna was saying that all the products are formulated with less than 1% synthetic fragrance. And while that does sound nice, I will say there's not a lot of difference between synthetic fragrance and natural fragrance. A lot of companies specifically within the clean beauty space will lead you to believe that synthetic fragrance is evil and toxic toxic and damaging to the skin, but clean fragrance is okay. Clean fragrance being like essential oils, for example. But in reality, both of them are as irritating as each other. And there's really not a huge difference between the two. Both can irritate your skin. And immediately when I tried this product and the others, I was like, wow, I can definitely tell that fragrance is something that is very important to Rihanna. She wanted these products to smell. But I have to be honest, I don't like products that have fragrance in them. I actively avoid them on my channel where I can. And while I am okay with one or two products in my skincare routines having fragrance because it significantly lessens the risk of irritation, on my channel, I really try to promote the fragrance-free message as I feel it's the most inclusive to a larger audience. Oh, do you see my hand? I'm literally like shaking because I'm so nervous talking about these topics because I know people are gonna be so mad in the comments. <sighs> I'm not ready for this. I feel like I need to preface this entire video with the That's, that's my opinion! opinion! Meme. <laughs> my thoughts on this product, I think it has some great hydrating and antioxidant ingredients that are very impressive. And I will say this is the product that I use the least out of all of them because of the chemical UV filters, but the experience is wonderful. It soaks into the skin so nicely. There's no white cast whatsoever. It makes the skin glowy, but it's not heavy at all. And I do want to show you what it's like swatched on darker skin tones. So my roommates are here to help illustrate how this sunscreen looks on dark skin. Okay, I'm back here with my roommate, Mike. Say hello. What's up? <laughs> this is Mike. He actually has a YouTube channel as well. You guys should totally go check it out. Teacher Mike ESL. He does English teaching videos, but with a little bit of flair, a little bit of humor, a little bit of... Lots of that. Lots of that. <laughs> So I'm gonna be swatching it on his skin. He hasn't tried this product before, but I'll also ask him to kind of describe the consistency, the feel, so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what it feels like on someone else besides me. Oh, that smells so good. What? <laughs> no, I just don't like fragrance. Oh, my bad, I do. <laughs> it's okay, it's strong though, right? Like It's mild. Okay, I it's think, mild. Yeah. And after a very bad application, you can kind of see that there's no white cast whatsoever. His skin definitely does look glowy. It like has, you know, that kind of like sheen after moisturizer sheen, but there's no white cast to it at all. And describe, how does it feel? <sighs> like my first time. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Um. Honestly, it feels kind of effortless. Like it doesn't really okay. feel like it's there. It went on really smoothly. Um, it was nice. Okay, good, wow. We have a raving review from this one. <laughs> That's great. What a review. Okay, well, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're so welcome. Also, Riri, if you need a backup dancer. <laughs> Okay. I'm okay. sure she's gonna be watching. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, I, I was joking, I was joking. Round number two, and I'm here with Tony, or Antonio. Say hi. Hi. You can follow him on Instagram or TikTok at Oconi Phoenix. He has used this product over the past few days, after I got permission from the Fenty team. Thank you, Fenty. So you, you've oh used this- Oh my gosh, can what? my hand just touch me? Oh my god. <laughs> You've been able to use it over the past few days. What is your opinion? Um, I really like it. It's a really good sunscreen moisturizer. I try using other sunscreens. I'm not gonna say names, but they usually leave a really bad <laughs> white cast. But this one is so nice. That goes to show that you were telling me like how you liked how lightweight it was, that it wasn't like a heavy consistency on the face. Yeah, and I like the smell. I mean, I personally don't have any issue with like fragrance. This my skin is not very like sensitive. I'm actually kind of like obsessed with it. I told him he could use the rest of the bottle after me, so. Thank you, Rena. You guys can see on his skin as well, like that it, there really isn't any white cast. Similar to Mike, it's just like a sheen that you have with any moisturizer. There's no white cast whatsoever. You can't see it across his skin, which of course is great considering they both have, you know, darker skin tones, at least way darker skin tones than me. And thank you so much for coming on my channel. I appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony and Mike. They're great. They're awesome. I love them. The next product is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. Ooh, that's a mouthful. I will say the title is very true to the consistency. This is like a toner serum. Serums are great, but can be a little bit heavier on the skin, but toners are typically more watery and super lightweight. This is a nice in-between. Flames to refine the look of pores, brighten dark spots, and even out skin tone. And I have to say, oh my God, the coloring, the packaging. This one has a click top, so it's all in one component and just drips out. So, so cool. I love it. As for ingredients, I like the fourth ingredient is niacinamide. Woo woo! Coming through with that 
high concentration of niacinamide, I love to see it. Green tea extract, one of my favorite ingredients of all time for reducing redness and sensitivity in the skin and also for its potentially anti-aging properties. It has cactus flower extract, something that I don't usually see, a great soothing ingredient, as well as acerola fruit extract, which is a very strong antioxidant. A great source of vitamin C, beta carotene, and polysaccharides, which is going to be amazing not only for its antioxidant power, but for brightening the skin and preventing aging and damage. Honestly, as far as good ingredients though, this one is the most impressive product from the line. It has so many great antioxidants, which is truly what you want for a daytime serum to help prevent against the damage that we see every single day. These are just such cool ingredients that I never see in products, and one thing that I love to see from this brand. True innovation in the extent that they're reaching to find new beneficial ingredients for the skin. I also have to say, using this on my skin, I loved the consistency. It was very lightweight, soaked into the skin almost immediately, which is great for people who have oily skin like myself, because I really struggle using treatments during the day that aren't going to make my forehead look like a grease factory. But the two things that I don't like about this product is that first, the second ingredient is witch hazel water. Now, if you don't know my opinion on witch hazel, I am not a fan of it because witch hazel is an astringent and astringents operate by clearing off the excess oil and sebum from the face, which is why they're so much fun to use because immediately when you use them, you're like, wow, my skin looks so matte. It looks so even. There's no shininess. There's no greasiness. It looks great. But the problem with astringents is that they can be overly drying to the skin and over time can lead to increased skin dehydration. Now I'm not completely mad at it though because the rest of the formula is pretty hydrating and as opposed to ingredient like denatured alcohol which is really stripping to the face, witch hazel is a much better alternative but still it's an astringent so you may see some drying properties. And then the other thing I don't like about this is that it's formulated with a lot of fragrance. Now I was fine using this in my skincare routine because the rest of my products don't have fragrance and I'm okay you know supplementing in one or two products that do have fragrance and I do want to keep using this because the experience is so nice but because of the witch hazel and the fragrance, I'm probably not going to continue, but I still like the ingredient list more than the sunscreen because of the incredible antioxidant properties that it does have. And also I have to say the price point with this one for how rare the ingredients are is really freaking good. Rihanna could be charging an arm and the leg for this formula, but chose to not instead, which we stand, of course. How could we not? And then the final product, my favorite one from the line, the Total Remove It All Cleanser. This one was the one I was most excited for when I first got the products. This one claims to be a cleanser and a makeup remover in one. And that it works for all skin types. Now, sometimes I get a little bit nervous when I see that it's a cleanser and a makeup remover in one because usually it means that it's formulated with really harsh cleansing agents. But on the contrary, this one is formulated with really great gentle surfactants that are not going to overly strip your skin, but still give you a nice cleansing and foaming experience. I'm pretty picky about what cleansing ingredients I like, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that all of these meet my standards. It's also formulated with green tea, a great ingredient to have in a cleanser for reducing the redness and the harshness that a cleansing experience usually brings, as well as fig, a good antioxidant, ginkgo biloba extract, one of my favorite antioxidants, and a great soothing agent. Again, wonderful to have in a cleanser. And yeah, just overall a great stellar formula. And I also have to say I love the packaging. It has a twist cap, which is honestly great to have in the shower because sometimes with cleansers, they're kind of difficult to operate when you're all slippery and wet. I also loved the experience because it starts off as a really nice cream, but turns into a foam. It didn't dry my skin out, but it definitely cleansed my skin. Like it worked really well. It left my skin feeling super soft and you only need to use a tiny bit. Like I was surprised by how little I used over the last month and how long this cleanser is going to last. And considering that the cleanser is $25, like this is a really good deal. The only thing I don't like about this formula is that it does have fragrance, but you guys know this. I'm okay with fragrance and cleansers because it is a wash off treatment. You're only leaving it on your skin for a maximum of 30 seconds as opposed to leave on products where you're leaving it on your skin for like 16 hours. The sensitivity you could experience due to fragrance is not going to be very high. I mean, my favorite cleanser of all time, the use of the people one has fragrance. I'm okay with it. And honestly, I have to say, if you're going to buy one product from this line, buy the cleanser. This one is awesome. It's great bang for your buck. It's a really nice experience. It has awesome packaging, good soothing ingredients, non-stripping. I just really like this one and I'm definitely going to be continuing to use it. Oh my God. Okay. Two hours later, <laughs> I'm going to talk about my overall thoughts on the brands, the pros and the cons, and then let you guys know whether I think it's worth it or not. The things I love about the brand. First, of course, like I said before, I love that this is an inclusive line that they're partnering with black creators to promote it, that the central focus and marketing of the line is towards people of color and black people, and that this is really evident when first introduced to the brand. Another thing I love, which is very rare to find with most skincare product launches, is that she covered all the most important basic steps of a skincare routine. If you've watched my videos before, I'm constantly talking about skincare minimalism and how you only need four steps in a skincare routine. Cleanser, treatment, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And she managed to cover all four with three products. You have your cleanser, you have your toner serum, and you have a moisturizer with a sunscreen. And I think it's quite impressive for a brand to 
cover all bases on their first initial launch. And really encouraging to me because if I saw someone buy the whole line, I would know for certain that they have all their bases covered. I love that Rihanna chose to include really unique ingredients from around the world that you never see in other skincare products like Barbados Cherry, Keens Kalahari Melon, even Niacinamide, an ingredient that should be way more popular in USA skincare and is not. Gluconolactone, Ginkgo Biloba extract, just oh, so many great ingredients that are honestly really difficult to find in Western skincare. And it shows that she and her team really put a lot of thought into developing the formulas. I am so happy to see that the line is relatively affordable. These products are sold at Sephora. She could be charging an arm and a hammer for the, wait, <laughs> wait, arm and a hammer is the baking soda company, right? <laughs> an arm and a leg for these products. I mean, I was honestly expecting these products to be around 45 to $55 each. And I was so encouraged to see that they range between 25 and $35 because for Sephora, that's a really good price point and very accessible to a large audience. I share her belief in that skincare should be accessible to everyone. And I'm constantly talking about affordable options on my channel so that no one feels left out because they can't afford it. And finally, I love the focus on environmental sustainability and her newly introduced refillable systems. I think it's innovative. I think it's creative. I think it's a necessary step that the skincare industry needs to take. And I'm just so happy to see that at the very minimum, there's a mindfulness in her creating the line. And then for the two things I don't like, which I already covered in this video because I talked about them for 30 fucking minutes each. First of all, fragrance. I don't like that it's unnecessary and excludes a demographic of people. However, she talks about how fragrance is very important to her for the sensorial experience. And while I don't agree with that, I understand it. And I hope that in the future that she can come out with fragrance-free versions of each of these products because whew, I would buy them and promote them in a freaking heartbeat. No questions asked. Finally, like I said before, I personally don't like that she uses chemical UV filters. However, I do understand the purpose and the intent and the push for inclusivity in using those ingredients, which is why it's not something that I'm super upset about. However, I won't be using that sunscreen. Oh my God, my heart is still racing after two hours of filming. I've been so nervous for this, but I have to ask, what do you guys think? I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear your thoughts. Please, please, please be respectful and understand that this is just my opinion. <laughs> How many times have I said it? Is that number eight? Number nine? Thank you so much Fenty Skin for sending me your products. I am so honored to be included on the list of people who got to try it ahead of time. And I wish you and Rihanna the best of luck in your launch. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one.